Robert Sheets was struck in the head by a ball and suffered a twisting or torsional movement of his head, which then resulted in the rupture of an artery within his brain. That artery, the middle cerebral artery, is responsible for supplying the majority of the mid portion of the brain. The tear in the vessel wall allowed a blood clot to form in the vessel wall. This blood clot not only blocked partially the flow of blood through the blood vessel, but in addition broke off and traveled to the downstream or distal portions of the vascular territory of the middle cerebral artery. These blood clots resulted in blockage of oxygen and blood to that portion of the brain, resulting in a stroke or brain death. After a stroke or death of brain cells, severe swelling occurs in the brain. This swelling, untreated, will expand and compress other parts of the brain. It at times is necessary to remove a large portion of the skull bone to allow the brain to swell outward and to protect other as yet uninvolved areas of the brain. After the brain swelling is relieved, or in essence goes down or shrinks, the skull bone can be replaced in its normal position. And in this manner, further injury to normal brain tissue can be prevented.